All right, boys, today we're gonna be updating my best value lineup in Madden 24. Now, what a value lineup is for me, just cards that I think are really worth their price, right? We have a max budget of 200K, and I do wanna say, uh, based on the previous uh, video for the value team, the market kind of went up a little bit. So we're kind of in a little bit of an interesting spot right here, and we're gonna get it started with quarterback. It was tough to decide between these two. I think Andrew Luck is still very much in the running for the best value quarterback, right around that 190K mark. And he's 95 speed, he gets the master tactician, the set feet lead, the fearless, the gunslinger, the gift wrap, all for a really reasonable AP stack, traditional four as well. There's another quarterback that I like as well. Warren Moon right here. They're right around the same price. Uh, Warren Moon does have that Slinger 5, which objectively is worse than traditional 4. Everything for 0 AP. So it was pretty tough for me to decide between Luck or uh, Warren Moon. I am still going to have Andrew Luck right here, just because I think that traditional 4 is so nice, but I can see the argument for Warren Moon. Now at running back right here, I was shocked to see what this card was going for. William Perry. Under 200k? Sign me up, man. I still think he is a really glitchy running back in the game. Uh, falls for Forward, gets the freight train for zero 97 speed 335 like i said he is a really annoying card to deal with someone else that if you need like a backup or something free card could go with good old uh Dre archer right here from the fan appreciation solos and also if you need a third running back we do have rob Gronkowski, aka baby gronk right here uh what's it called he's like four foot ten in game you can use him as well but i like that parry card all right now let's talk about receiver at wide receiver one it makes absolutely no sense to not use Puka, a uh, welcome pack player right here. Rack him up, built on for zero AP. That is an ability that can insta beat that man press. And I think this card plays absolutely phenomenal. But besides Puka, you're in a little bit of a tough spot because all the receivers that get built on X factors like Double Me, Rack him up, or Max Security, all are out of our price range. So you're not going to be able to insta beat the bottleneck with just X factors, right? Other receivers that I like, again, we're going back to good old fan appreciation right here. Plaxico Burris, 94 overall. You can get him up to a 99 relative easily and he gets everything for zero ap route tech evasive matchup nightmare you name it zero ap on him and gets great abilities again you could do a charge up x factor but aiden hutchinson is going to counter this card now at wide receiver three for me i am going to have marvin harrison senior right here not junior senior again under 200k gets the built on yak him up which everyone does have secure tackler so that might lose a little bit of value to you but does get the route tech does get the evasive as well i think he is a beast and of course at fullback we're going to have at least one van Vanguard on the field. We got to have Trent Williams under 100K. So one of the better cards in the game with that Vanguard and his weight. And you have a pretty nasty backfield right here with Perry and Trent Williams. Now let's go over to tight end. Tight end is a spot that actually changed so much because before it was Dalton Kincaid who was like right around 200k now he's 284k and that is out of our price range i think for sure and someone that maybe i would just say you know what spend the coins on evan ingram does make sense with the 300k getting the double me but a card that i still like that i think is severely underpriced just based on the cards we could choose kyle pitts he's not a run blocker i know we're gonna have another one too if you're more of a run heavy player but 97 speed six foot six 245 you can make him work also something you can do too is you can play Trent Williams a tight end and say a tight end three will put JC Latham's full uh what's called tight end card and we can play him at fullback if you don't want Kyle Pitts though you don't want to play Trent Williams at tight end you're a little bit more of a run heavy player something that I do like too is Mario Williams at tight end going for 75k not the fastest in the world doesn't get the quick juke but this card does get some pretty good abilities Mario Williams tight end comes pre equipped with honorary lineman for zero and you could also throw secure protector on him for one so I think that's pretty nice if you're again if again if you're a little bit more run heavy now for offensive line what are we prioritizing here zero ap secure protector at left tackle we are going to have fan appreciation joe thomas for sure again gets like everything for zero ap identifier secure protector nasty streak post up all day you name it he gets it besides that we just want secure pros everywhere right so like andrew whitworth another potential zero ap secure pro jordan morgan again zero ap secure pro we also have tyler guyton as well all cards under 100k get secure pro that is really the main thing and also rob haven't seen right here you just need a 94 genki force player upgrade him with that and then he gets secure pro for zero so yeah boys this is what the offensive side of the ball is looking like let's go over to the defense now defense right here i don't really think you have the luxury to go ahead and play bottleneck press man coverage like a lot of people you're gonna be a zone based defense right and at cb1 a card i still love is kyle pitts this is a card you have to spend a little bit of ap on but he's six foot six 98 speed gets deep out mid zone pick artist secure tackler all for two ap so i love that stack on him at cb2 
to right here, we're going to have the free compass Kyrie Jackson, and we're going to use the uh, the, the B&D one, not the sellable version. And what I would run on Kyrie Jackson actually is reinforcement for zero, mid zone knockout, and then pick artist for zero. So the reinforcement will give you KOs just like universal, but it will do a little bit better job versus the vanguards. And in CB3, I'm still rocking 90 overall Gronk. I know he's slow. Six foot six, 268, and the abilities he can get, I think are well worth it. Um, again, 88 speed at this point, I get why you would be hesitant to run him, but universal coverage, bottleneck, reinforcement, and then everything for zero, like you can throw mids, like he just gets everything you need. So in my opinion, I would still run him in the slot. I think it's very hard to justify running him on the outside, but as a slot corner, being a force in the run game, playing flats, I think he can do that job perfectly fine. And in free safety right here, we're going back to the fan appreciation. We are going to Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark can get that charge up reinforcement that I like. Get the deep zone, the mid zone, the pick artist, tackle supreme, uh, can also get avalanche as well. So he just gets everything for zero AP once again. And running out our safeties right here, we are gonna have have a low he gilman now i'm gonna have a backup right here because i know some people aren't able to get this card um because some of the objectives are like bugged out on him but he can get the deep zone the mid zone the secure tackler for three ap now if you just want to ignore low he gilman someone else that can play here is joe alt at safety not the golden ticket but the 94 theme team all-star this is another card that gets the deep zone the mid zones a secure tackler so yeah you could go either which way right here and i don't hate it i think both of them can be great for you now let's round out the front seven right here outside linebacker number one we're gonna have frank ragnow frank ragnow lurk artist mid zone knockout secure tackler all for zero ap uh six foot five 308 i do think he moves kind of bad he's as good as we can get right here in my opinion and at left outside linebacker we're gonna have the gronk as well right here not the middle linebacker the 90 overall free gronk that is again 88 speed why is he here again well if you think about what this card's gonna play again he's gonna be like hooks gonna be flats i don't think you need the fastest player in the world right here avalanche lurk artist reinforcement all for zero i feel like his abilities are way too good to pass up and i mean you could go like a Derek brooks right here but i think this gronk will even play better than that so that's why he's here for me middle linebacker one i'm gonna go ahead and have gerard mayo right here so gerard mayo another lurk artist mid zone secure tackler all for zero player again a little bit slower but i think he'll outplay uh his price and middle linebacker two this is a potential user player jordan mylata i'm not the biggest fan of this card but again for his price and what he can do i think he's way too good a value to pass up now let's talk about the defensive line right here at right end this is going to be the most expensive card of the video i get he's 400k aiden hutchinson makes the game a hundred times better just not having to deal with like omaha or all this other like charge up bs on offense you still have to deal with like the the base vanguards and stuff i know that but adding the omaha on top of it man i just think aiden hutchinson is worth every penny so he's gonna make my value lineup now at left end right here this is a card that i think actually has gotten even better uh jj watt run stuffer built on on the card love it i think that does a great job for a secure protector and i think he can do a great job for your run game and at defensive tackle right here we're going with interior threat and also um inside stuff for zero tommy harris and mean joe green gonna round out our front seven right here i still think they play really really well and for kicker and punter i would just go young way Koo right here upgrade him as much as you can if you are using lohi gilman even at a 96 still good value and at punter gonna be none other than pat Mac McAfee, the B and D card. So yeah, boys, this has been my thoughts on the best value card at every position in Madden 24. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Madden 24 Ultimate Team content just like this. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use these cards live on stream, I stream every single day, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here.